At least 1,200 people are feared dead and millions more at risk as one of the most powerful tropical storms in history barrels towards Vietnam. Typhoon Haiyan has already slammed into the Philippines, leaving a deadly trail of destruction. Hardly a building has been left standing. And it's only the damage to infrastructure and communications which is keeping the official number of dead relatively low for now. But it's rising steadily and is likely to reach four figures. Bodies remain uncovered. Gathering information and statistics is a low priority as people pick their way through what's left of their homes, their villages, their cities. I'm looking for my grandmother, my mother, father and my child who I accidentally let go of during the typhoon. The people of the Philippines have seen similar images many times before. Typhoons pass through the islands around 20 times a year, but they've never encountered a storm of such power and size. Tacloban City appears to have been among the worst hit, with reports of almost all buildings damaged and casualties mounting. Almost a quarter of a million people live here and will be in urgent need of shelter given how many homes have been flattened or the roofs torn off. Despite the destruction, some experts said it could have been worse. This typhoon was fast moving, meaning that it didn't linger over anywhere long enough to wreak even more havoc. Heavy rainfall and flooding can lead to mudslides and kill many more people. Typhoon Haiyan is now heading towards Vietnam and people there are preparing as best they can to protect themselves and their property. The storm has weakened slightly but it's still a threat to everything in its path.